Texas Political Action Committee truly rose from the hills of disappointment the fall of 1982. The now retired judge, the Honorable Una H. R. Keenan, was defeated in her quest to be elected to the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Court. The hope and enthusiasm surrounding her candidacy inspired a group of women to convene a brainstorming session at the home of Barbara H. Boyd. They analyzed Una Keenan's defeat as well as strategies for future campaigns. The results were sobering. They found that women faithfully served as the backbone of a man's campaign. But when she chose to run for an elected office, there was no support offered. It was clear political reciprocity was reserved for male candidates only. This dilemma became a rallying point, and with wisdom, vision, courage, and hope for change, eight women met for the first time in February 1983 to discuss how black women could impact critical issues through elected and appointed leadership. Those women were Margie Catherine Adams, Patricia Ann Blackman, Barbara H. Boyd, Sarah J. Harper, Shirley Hawk, Una H. R. Keenan, Denise McCall, and Phyllis Burton Scott. On April 2, 1983, the first officers of the Black Women's Political Action Committee were sworn in by the Honorable Jean Merrill Capers. The ceremony was attended by what was now over 40 members. The first state registered political action committee of its kind in the nation was born. Their objectives were aggressive and community wide. The Black Women's Political Action Committee is a nonpartisan organization of progressive black women who express the need to impact the political arena. To give financial, moral, and physical support to black women interested in public office, as well as those presently serving as elected officials. To provide support for women and candidates who are sensitive to the needs of people, especially black women to continually educate members in all areas of politics, and to bring commitment to issues of the broader base community to be addressed by the Black Women's Political Action Committee. Their purpose is clear, an organization to ensure the participation of black women on a political, economic, and social level, as well as to promote and facilitate participation in the government process. So, after 32 years, what have they accomplished? The list is long and impressive. And guess what? If I were you, I'd hold on to something. In 1983, the PAC took a bus trip to join the 20th anniversary March on Washington in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. In 1986, Una Keenan was appointed by Governor Richard Celeste to be judge of East Cleveland Municipal Court. In 1987, the first annual fundraiser was held. It was a salute to Congressman Louis Stokes and held at Vell's Party Center. In 1988, the PAC held a black and white ball, a memorable event celebrating five years of growth. In August 1988, the PAC honored George Forbes for 25 years of public service. On August 30, 1989, the PAC sponsored a City of Cleveland mayoral candidate forum at Liberty Hill Baptist Church. The mayoral hopefuls included Benny Bonanno, Timothy Hagan, Reverend Michael Lord, Ralph Perk Jr., and Michael White. This forum was broadcast by major media organizations. In 1990, Patricia Ann Blackman, became the first black American elected to the Court of Appeals of Ohio 8th Appellate District. In 1990, Shirley Hawk became a member of the State Board of Education. April 28, 1990, the PAC celebrated its seventh anniversary, saluting black women in action. In 1992, 
Barbara Boyd became mayor of the city of Cleveland Heights, the first black female mayor in the state of Ohio. In 1996, the PAC celebrated its bicentennial by honoring women then and now. This event was held at Cleveland State Mather Mansion and was attended by over 200 guests. October 17, 1998 was designated as Black Women's Political Action Day by the City of Cleveland Mayor Michael R. White, 2003. In collaboration with the Greater Cleveland Voter Registration Coalition, over 5,000 new voters were registered. In 2003, the PAC held a private reception for Jeanette Bradley, the first female Black American Lieutenant Governor of the State of Ohio. Four Black Women Political Action Committee members won their race for Judge of Cleveland Municipal Court in the November 2003 election. In 2004, documents were placed in the Western Reserve Historical Society archives located in Cleveland, Ohio. These documents memorialized the 20-year history of the Black Women's Political Action Committee. In 2005, a candidate forum was held at Myers University Club. September 8, 2009, the PAC hosted a forum for the public to hear candidates for Cleveland mayor. Attendees were incumbent Mayor Frank Jackson seeking a second term, Kimberly Brown, Laverne Jones Gore, and Bill Patman. October 2009, the PAC held a forum to discuss the Cuyahoga County Reform Initiative. These were Issue 5 and Issue 6 for the 2009 November election. 2012, the PAC continues its fundraising efforts by reestablishing its annual golf outing. In 2013, at the Harvard Community Services Center, the PAC continues the tradition of endorsing candidates who represent the mission and purpose of the organization. In 2013, the PAC celebrated 30 years of paving the way and making a difference. On March 28, 2014, the Black Women's Political Action Committee is inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. So you see what's been done. Why are they still relevant? And what do they hope for the future? Their answer? We will continue on our journey to change using wisdom, vision, courage, and hope. We must continue our support of the black community by encouraging involvement where decisions are made. We must hold fundraisers so that the PAC can financially support candidates who understand the agenda of the black family. We must physically provide campaign support to incumbents and new candidates. Because of our election successes, we must instruct new candidates on how to run successful campaigns. Voter participation is the backbone of the election process. Each of our voices must be heard. So our voter registration and education efforts must continue. We must be present when decisions are made that affect our families and communities so that our efforts to become members of community boards and committees must continue. Finally, our youth is our future. Our goals for them are the first black woman mayor of Cleveland, the first black woman governor of the state of Ohio, and yes, the first black woman president of the United States of America. To make these goals a reality, we must instruct and guide our youth on the education, skills, and methods needed to become a productive member of society. This is your community, your future. Join us. The PAC has supported our members in successful elections as...